to fight in a cage, we train differently. Um, up against the cage, you know, trying to get off the cage, our takedowns from the cage with our back on the cage, and then a ring is completely different. My opponent tomorrow has a lot of experience. He's a really tough guy. I look forward to fighting him. It's a good challenge. I hope we have a good fight and it's a war, and, uh, and I hope it's not an easy fight for me. Nobody wants to lose a well tough guy, so it'll be a good fight. Our first fighter comes to the cage from Detroit, Michigan. Trains with the MASH, East Side Combat and Freestyle Fighting. Trained by Mr. James Lee, he stands five foot eight inches tall and weighs in at 140 pounds. He brings a fight record of one win and one loss. One win coming by way of KO. Please give it up. Coming to the cage, Joe Santiago. Getting ready for our next match of the night. I'm Heath Brown along with Duke Rufus. And we're pleased to be joined by former WWE star Lance Storm. Lance, talk about the style of fighting and what your impressions are so far. I've always enjoyed it. I, re I really find it fascinating to watch the technique and the competition. It's, it's the one thing that's lacking in our sport is that real competition. You know what I mean? It's like I, I understand enough of the style that I can, you know, follow it, but it's like it's a whole different ball game when they're in there competing with each other. Now let's go up to Keith Crawford in the ring. His opponent fights out of Reinhardt MMA Academy in Duck Tar, Michigan. He brings 145 pounds to the cage on a five foot six frame and sports an unblemished fight record of 13 wins and zero losses. 10 wins coming by way of submission and three by way of TKO. Please welcome to the cage this King of the Cage veteran, Jason Reinhardt. Well, Jason Reinhardt does have an impressive record as our ring announcer Keith Crawford just mentioned 13 and zero, 10 coming by way of submission and three by TKO. And he's also part of the Black Legion, Pat Milicic's famous mixed martial arts team that has produced so many awesome athletes in mixed martial arts. The tale of the tape tells us that Reinhardt's opponent stands five foot eight and weighed in at 140 pounds. His fight record is one and one with that win coming by way of knockout. Reinhardt coming in at five foot six and 145 pounds, 13 and 0. Jason Reinhardt clearly the more experienced fighter, and perhaps that will play itself out in the ring. Well, Lance, you see yourself ever getting in the cage? <laughs> I'm way too old for that. I've been pulling punches for 15 years. I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. Well, what you guys do is pretty impressive too. That's some athletic and acrobatic and very physically astounding things that you guys do in the WWE ring as well. I appreciate that. It's just a, it's just a different ball game, you know what I mean? And 36 year old, I'm not starting something new. Lance, uh, what are you doing now? Uh, I'm actually running a, my own professional wrestling training school here in Calgary, Storm Wrestling Academy, uh, trying to keep the uh, spirit of wrestling alive in Calgary. What's the signature move you're teaching? <laughs> I teach it all. <laughs> You're an all-arounder, the hybrid wrestler. Exactly. The more you know, the more you can do. So who are you picking, Lance? I got to go with the experience. He seems to be a bigger guy, and you know, 13 fights is a, is a lot of experience to overcome. Joe Santiago in the camouflage shorts against Jason Reinhardt, and Reinhardt means business. Actually, UFC fighter Joe Dirksen is in Reinhardt's corner. A lot of help, Joe Dirksen being a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a UFC veteran, and as well, mastering his Muay Thai skills with K-1 fighter Giuseppe Denatale, one of Canada's best MMA fighters in Reinhardt's corner. Reinhardt pinning Santiago up against the fence. This is classic. Oh, Militich. big right hand. Big. Another one. Flailing away, Reinhardt able to avoid being decked by Santiago in a big right knee. The referee stepping in there, Duke. Not sure why. After that right knee landed. Uh, it was a knee because he was on all fours. 
that's why. It, it was an illegal knee. That, that's what the call was. He caught him while his, he was on all fours, which is an illegal knee. Again, Reinhardt, he likes to pin him up against the cage. Classic Militich style, but he's missing big with those ghetto whoppers. He is going for the haymaker and missing. Go oh, knee to the face. But now he's but Santiago on top of the right hand. He's going for the triangle choke. What a fight. They get that arm out of there. Young Very Santiago. Slam. Showing very well against the more experienced Reinhardt. Santiago wa wanting Reinhardt to get up and fight. If I were Santiago, I'd just take some steps back and say, hey, come on, big boy, stand up. I think he tried that, and Reinhardt was staying put. Look at the right hands being thrown by Santiago now. I smell upset. No kidding. A little soccer kick to the butt. Nice right hand. That was beautiful. Sweeping the leg out of the way and landing a flush right hand. Uh-oh. There's 13 years experience. Yeah, 13 fights exactly. Better. You got it, Lance. Only takes one mistake. Reinhardt trying to get Santiago In to leg. perhaps submit with that ankle lock. But it's released, and the fight continues, and Santiago's in charge. I'm real impressed with this Santiago. Good young fighter. Santiago from Detroit, Reinhardt from Decatur, Michigan. A left hand there. Is it possible that Reinhardt came in maybe a little overconfident? I spoke to Reinhardt earlier today, and he had just fought last week, so I think he's a little tired from the travel up, and as well, maybe fighting too often. But guys, here's that experience we're talking about. He's turning the tide, getting a good position, good left hook of his own, and now he's trying to work for the back to try and get the, the rear naked choke. Now he's got full mount. Here we go. The arm. Arm, oh, bar. Oh, oh, arm bar. Arm so, Didn't get it. He's trying to pull it out. What Santiago's doing is holding on to his left arm with his right so Reinhardt can't straighten that arm and go for the, the break. Look out. Tap, tap. I think we have a tap out. He, he sunk it in, and Reinhardt pulls one out of the fire. Well, Lance, you called it. Experience was the winner in this fight. But Santiago was impressive. Lance Storm, thank you for dropping by our table. Continued success with Storm Wrestling Academy. Appreciate it, Heath. All the best. All right, explain this illegal knee. What we have here is a knee on the mat by Reinhardt, his right knee, and you cannot strike when a man is down on the mat with one of his knees. But if his back is down... You cannot knee to the face. That's what it was. Here's the armbar attempt. He's trying to pull that arm out. He's got the, the calf across the face. It he, failed the first time. Yes, but then he rolls his body to roll back into it. And there's Santiago doing a wise move of pushing his face with the ball of his foot. Nice little feeling on the throat there. But Reinhardt never gave up and turns him over here for the submission. Absolutely. Again, the experience. Look at that armbar. And you can see the arm stretching. Snap it or tap it, baby. One more cheer for these two warriors. We have a winner by submission at four minutes and 30 seconds of the first round, Jason Reinhardt. 
We're here with Jason Reinhardt in the ring after that win. It was a submission win, Jason. Unbelievable fight. Tell me how it felt. It felt like it hurt. <laughs> you look like it hurt, man. You did a great job there. You were able to take control of it on the ground, turn him over, and submit him. Tell me how you did that. I just kept a hold of the arm, and uh, I just want to say thanks to all the Canadian fans. They're great fans. I love Canada. First time I've been here, I love Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this fight, Jason Reinhardt. Don't forget next weekend, ladies and gentlemen, King of the Cage, Shock and Awe, runs back into Edmonton, Alberta at the Northlands Agricom.